Hey, we're here at the NAMM show. I'm, I got Kevin with Sony 360 Reality. He's going to show us some really cool stuff in the world of immersive audio. Can you give me an explanation of what we have here? Sure. So this is 360 Reality Audio. This plugin is called the WalkMix Creator. It's a plugin uh, that works with all popular DAWs, and it's basically how you uh, create and mix in 360 Reality Audio. Awesome. Well, show us how it works. Can we get the camera in here to see what's going on? Put some headphones on here. Sure, so this is all object-based, so it all has uh, location metadata built in. It's not specific to any uh, speaker system. So you can set up whatever speaker system you like. You go to the settings of the plugin, and you select your specific speaker system. You plug in the coordinates of your speakers, and it uh, works for whatever speaker system you have. All these sound objects, you can click and drag and move them. You can also write automation. And I'll just go ahead and play this file here so you can see the objects moving. All right, so one thing I want to make you guys aware of is that it's really important that you're listening in headphones here. Um, and what's incredible is that when you say object-based, you're basically saying we're not dealing with any more like channels. So it's no longer just left and right. Or for a surround system, it's no longer left, center, right, rear, rear. Um, now we're just basically dragging where we want the source to be in a virtual world. Am I correct there? Exactly. And what's amazing about that is by taking into consideration the way our head, our head-related transfer function, you may have seen some of my videos on binaural recording, um, the way that affects the sound to each ear can be harnessed so where we can bring that immersive experience into headphones, right? Exactly. So you're hearing things yes. behind you, you're hearing things in front of you, left to right above you, below you, all right. that stuff. That's amazing. Do you mind if I take a look? Please. Cool. Wow, so you can hear these synths. Yeah, follow that around. We'll move this guy so that he's facing the same direction as us. Yeah, so you hear those hats over there on the left side now. And if I wanted to make them above me even, we've got a Z axis. So whereas before, you know, stereo, you're pretty much limited to left. And right. Now we can have a whole 360 degree field to work within. That's really cool, wow. So this is not only available on headphones, although I think that most people ultimately listening to your music will be consuming on headphones, so it's cool that you can bring that experience, but how does this work if you wanted to have a full you know, speaker setup instead of just listening through cans? Great question, so as a consumer, as a DIY creator myself, I actually just made this track to make sure that it was royalty free for you all. Um, basically, the, the first setup I would start with is just quad. So I would just go to my quad, uh, the quad option here and I just plug in the azimuth, which is angle. Positive is to the left and negative is to the right. Uh, elevation is degrees up and down. And then radius is the distance from the listening position itself. And that is measured in meters. And then from there, you so that's quad, you're yes. saying. And then so how what's the highest channel count that we can get to? Great question. Honestly, there's no limit. Just let oh. us know what you have and we'll make your profile. Um, but our standard is 13 speakers. So your headphone experience is actually 13 speakers rendered and virtualized through a, a, uh, a generic HRTF. And that's how you experience the uh, elevation and angle differentiation. Nice. So ideally, maybe you could mix in your format. And of course, you can't assume that every single listener is going to be in that same physical speaker configuration. But 
the idea is that you can rest assured that the the idea behind the mix and that the you know localization of all of the sources is going to translate no matter which system your listeners listening on right? exactly and that's the advantage of object-based audio there is you don't need to have a specific speaker system you can have whatever speaker system you want and uh, the location metadata is embedded into the file itself so whatever speaker uh, you have it will go to that specific location where your speaker is. That is awesome. Uh, you said you have something special to show us in the next room. So. Yes. All right, so over here they've got a special new experience where you're going to capture my yeah. HRTF. So we've got uh, Toru here. What are we going to do inside here? Yes, uh, we have uh, uh, this this demo booth is uh, called, it's called 360 virtual mixing environment. And uh, this technology can replicate a uh, studio acoustic uh, okay. only by headphone. So uh, today's demo is a speaker playback and the headphone playback is almost same. So for this purpose, uh, we need to scan and uh, uh, get the hearing profile, HRTF, yeah. customized one. Cool. And uh, after that, uh, we play back different song from speaker and the headphone is totally the same. And, uh, That's what I've yeah, heard. Yeah, I've heard yeah, people yeah, saying yeah. that once you measure my HRTF, my head related transfer function, right? Yeah. That it sounds one way in the headphones, you take the headphones off, and yeah, it sounds yeah. exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, and yeah, a lot yeah. of people here have told me over this weekend that yes. it's, like, it's scary yes, yes. a little bit, right? Yeah. I'm excited to see this. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think this technology is good for young generation because uh, they, they don't have uh, much money to uh, set up good good speak studio yeah so once you uh, young young user go to the scan uh, for to go to famous studio for scan and uh, bring back to their home and uh, they can make a good studio remotely yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, at home. so what we were hearing before at the booth was more of a generic HRT. Ah, yes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Which probably came across pretty well. I know I could hear the things around yeah, me, but yeah. the idea is that everyone has a little bit yeah, different yeah, yeah, HRTF, yeah. different ears, yeah. outer ear, different yeah, head shape. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to capture that. If someone wants to have a custom HRTF made, yeah, where yeah. do they go? Uh, we, we will start this service from end of June. And the um, first phase is uh, only three studio. One is New Tokyo, and one is Los Angeles, and one is New uh, New York. Oh wow! But uh, uh, it will be expand, and uh, may, maybe I, I imagine it is easy to access to the studio for scan. Cool, yeah. and yeah. I'm excited to see yeah. it. Let's yeah. check it out. Yeah. yeah. At this point, Toru took me into the booth where he and his team began scanning my customized HRTF. Toru started by putting a microphone in each of my ears, one in the left ear, one in the right ear. Now, there was a full surround sound speaker system in this room, a left, center, right, and two surround speakers, plus a sub. So they started by playing a clip of music to see what it sounded like in the room, and then they proceeded to play a series of test signals, pink noise out of each speaker, then a signal sweep out of each speaker, and then they put headphones on me to run a similar test in each ear. What was crazy is that then they played the music in the headphones and it sounded exactly, exactly like it did in the room. You may have heard stereo in headphones and just like Kevin showed us, we can now have surround in headphones. But when you get your own customized detailed HRTF, it sounded as if the speakers were actually playing in the room. When I took my headphones off, I did realize obviously that there was no sound playing in the room and it was really a surprise. I would highly recommend that you at least try using the generic HRTF, but I'd strongly urge you, if you're curious, to go to one of those locations in Tokyo, LA, or New York to get your own custom HRTF created. It's a very weird experience. Thank you very much. That's yeah, really yeah, cool yeah, stuff yeah, you guys yeah. are working on here. Yeah.